And I'm sure everyone made some egg amazing eggs for Easter, but now that it's coming to an end, what do you do with all of them? Here's some tips on this week's Mom to Mom. Today on Mom to Mom, I'm going to give you some great tips on how to turn these old Easter eggs into a great learning tool. We all have that endless amount of old Easter eggs that the kids have, and we never know what to do with them, and I hate throwing them away. So I found this great tip, and it's using old Easter eggs as learning tools. I have written a number on here on a pink egg, and what the kids have to do is find three pink pom-poms and put it in there, and voila, they've learned to count, and they're recognizing their numbers. The next thing is you can use this as an addition tool. You put different variations of a addition problem, five plus one equals six, two plus four equals six, and they literally just have to turn it around, and that's a good way to memorize those addition problems. And I've used these to teach uppercase and lowercase reading. You just turn it around, write different variations of a word, pop, top, mop, turn it around, and they learn how to sound out their letters. For those little ones out there, you could teach letter recognition. Put your little letters in there, and it's kind of fun for them to open it, and they just say, oh, Mom, that's a J. So that's a fun way to teach them letter recognition. Well, moms, I hope that you found this useful, and as always, connect with me on Facebook, and I'll see you all next week. Mom to Mom is brought to you by Mom to Be on Wilkins Wise Road in Columbus.